Hi, I'm Natalie Slipko and welcome to the Golden Shoes Tap Tutorials. I absolutely love to tap dance. I've performed in many musicals throughout the U.S. I've taught, I've choreographed, but now I want to give back. I want to teach you how to tap dance. So let's shuffle up to buckle up and have some fun. Yeah. Now let's learn flap heels. The same foot that you're putting the weight slightly forward on, you're going to put that heel down. So now you're creating one, two, three. Three sounds. Brush, dig, heel. Brush, dig, heel. Same thing can be done doing the brush going backward. And this is good as a warm up too. And now let's do brush, dig, heel going backward. Five, six, seven, eight, starting right. Brush, dig, heel, brush, dig, heel. So let's do four flat heels going forward and four brush, dig, heels going back. A five, six, seven, eight. Full left heel, full left heel, full left heel, left heel, brush, dig, heel, brush, dig, heel, brush, dig, heel, brush, dig, heel. My suggestion though, is if you are in an audition situation, it is more important to get the sounds in and have it be a consistent, accurate rhythm than to go too fast and it ends up sounding staccato and you're missing sounds because you can always get faster with it, but it's just like learning a routine. You start slow with it and then you start speeding up the tempo. Plus it helps you with your stamina too. A five, six, seven, eight, and a one and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six and a seven and a eight. And you might find going backward is a little bit more difficult because if you are, or you consider yourself a little bit more beginner, um, it's going to be harder for you to use your ankles uh, just like I did. So you may, be doing this, almost like a little bit of a kick. Try not to do that because that's going to slow you down. Another way to practice it is you can flip up the toe if you're you know, practicing it slowly, then brush, dig, heel. Flip the toe up, brush, dig, heel. Flap, heel, heel. This is also a traveling step that can be done going forward. You can do brush, dig, heel, heel, going backward. It's a little bit more challenging, but guess what? You can handle it. So, flap, heel, heel. I'm gonna do it on the diagonal so you can see what I'm doing. You're doing flap, and then the heel, heel, you're putting your weight on that dig of the flap, and you're heeling back with the left and front with the right. That's it. Try the left side. Full lap. Uh, you, you've dug with the left foot. The weight is forward. Back heel with the right and front with the left. So when you're going forward with flap heel heel, the back heel goes down first and then the front heel. A five, six, seven, eight. Full lap, heel, heel. Full lap, heel, heel. Full lap, Heel, heel, go left, heel, heel. Now, going backward, brush, dig, heel, heel. What heel do you think is gonna go down first? I'm waiting. If you think it's the front heel, you're correct. So, when we're doing the right foot, you do brush, dig, which we've learned already. Weight goes a little bit backward on that foot. Why? So that you can heal with the front foot, the left foot, and then you heal with the back foot or the right foot, if you're doing the right side. Left foot, brush, dig, heel, heel. Brush, dig, heel, heel. Now let's try to do four flap heel heels going forward and four brush, dig, heel heels going back. Five, six, Seven, eight. Go left, heel, heel. Go left, heel, heel. Go left, heel, heel. Go left, heel, heel. Brush, dig, heel, heel. Brush, dig, heel, heel. Brush, dig, heel, heel. Brush, dig, heel, 
feel. Oops, you didn't hear that last one because it went right on the carpet. <laughs> uh, gives me meaning to soft shoe. Oh, such a horrible, horrible <laughs> joke. Then Brush dig heels. Five, six, seven, eight. Brush dig heel, brush dig heel. And a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a six, and a seven, and a eight. Eight. Go left, heel, heel. Go left, heel, heel. Left, heel, heel. Go left, heel, heel. Brush dig heel, heel. Brush dig heel, heel. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, that way you know when I post the next tutorial.